Balbasa, Balba, Balbasa. Hey there guys, so today I wanted to do something different for my 100th video because getting to 100th is kind of an achievement really because a lot of people who do YouTube channels kind of give up during like 20 or 30 or 40 and I've been doing kind of YouTube videos for the past two years so getting to 100 is kind of a little achievement to me and I don't know what to do. I have thought really hard about this. There are certain projects I really want to work on but I haven't got a script for that. I could do something like my top 10 films of all time or my top 10 TV shows of all time but for a channel that only has 115 subscribers it is a bit weak and pointless and I'd rather save that for a future video. And I do movie reviews pretty much all the time. So today I want to do my Blu-ray collection considering I've got a quite a big Blu-ray collection and it's quite cramped now and it's a bit disorganised. I'm going to get it all out of my cabinet and just put it on the floor and just show it to you one by one. As you can see that is my Blu-ray collection. I'm going to get it all out now. As you can see I got them all out now and I did have them organised in terms of genre but unfortunately I kind of mixed it up now so which makes it much more harder but I'll probably go start with the movies and go to the TV shows. So I'm just going to pick a, a random pile, I'll go pick this one and just go through them. Uh, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, two of the, the Dark Knight Returns anime movies, really good and really underrated, go check them out. I have... Son of Batman, it's okay. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the Ultimate Edition, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which is such a great comic book film. It's not in my top 10, but it's like arguably my favourite Edgar Wright film with Shaun of the Dead. We have Amadeus, uh, Arike Kawasawa Collection. You have the Seven Samurai, Throne of Blood, Hidden Fortress, Yojimbo, and Shinjiro. My personal favourite is the Throne of Blood, which is kind of like Macbeth, but in a Japanese style in black and white, which is so awesome. I have the Green Room, It Follows, Barbadook, The Guest, the first three Jurassic Park films, you have Jurassic Park, Jurassic Part The Lost World and Jurassic Part 3. I really don't care about the Jurassic Park films, uh, the first three personally. I really like Jurassic World but the first three don't impress me. Uh, Pacific Rim, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. I, this is the only Transformers film I've got because and I kind of like Revenge of the Fallen. It is a guilty pleasure but yeah this was my second Blu-ray I owed and that was back in 2009. Um, it's fun to watch, I can understand why people hate it. It's not the worst Transformers film, but there aren't any good Transformers films really. But yeah, this was my second Blu-ray I ever owned, so it has a kind of a special place for my Blu-ray collection. Um, Independence Day, Edge of Tomorrow. Um, I've got some Disney films now. Oh, come on. I have Fantasia, Beauty and the Beast, Fantasia 2000, Lilo and Stitch. Um, oh god, I have Pitch Perfect, Girl Girl Power Rangers, I love this film, uh, one of my favourite films of the year so far, uh, Doctor Strange, Prometheus, uh, Blade Runner, I cannot wait for Blade Runner 2049, I'm, I'm intrigued to see it, uh, the Lego Movie, which is a steelbook edition, which is a pretty awesome steelbook, can I just say. Really nice. Now for the collapsed pile now, and thank god it's mostly comic book films now. I have Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man. I just kind of wrapped up Marvel Phase 2 now. I have Captain America Civil War. Uh, I have the Batman Anthology Collection. So you have Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. 
Uh, I'm not a big fan of Batman Returns. I really like the first Batman film. Really like it. I like the Prince soundtrack. Batman Forever is one of my favourites. I will defend that film. It just has such a great homage to it, really. I love Falcon. I like the villains. I just really like Batman Forever. Uh, Batman and Robin is a guilty pleasure. Uh, Serenity, it's from the f it's from my favourite TV show, Firefly, when they did a, a sequel movie to it, and Serenity is pretty awesome. Uh, Everybody Wants Some, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, I don't own the other two. I have Logan, I haven't opened it yet, still got the plastic around it. I haven't got a chance to rewatch it, but I really want to rewatch it at some point. They've got two editions that I'm going to rewatch. You've got the normal one, and you've got the noir one, which is black and white, so I, I cannot wait to open this at some point. I got Kingsman, I gave this a rewatch the other day because the Golden Circle was coming out. Uh, yeah, Kingsman still holds up. It's still one of those great, fun films. One of Matthew Fon's best films. I give it like a 9 out of 10. Um. Fish Tank, it's got my favourite actor of all time, Michael Fassbender, I just adore him. Uh, we have Brick, really cool, I need, need to give this a rewatch at some point. Um, Cup Car is a really underfair film, it's really just forgotten really, it's the same director who did Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, next we have... Um, Neon Demon, pretty cool film. It's very beautifully visualized. Story's a bit out of the ordinary. It's the same director who did Drive. So yeah, give this a re give this a watch. It's quite cool. Um, uh, Watchmen, one of my favorite comic book films of all time. I was so glad when I got this for my birthday, and it was even like the director's cut, which is just so much fun. So good. I have Under the Skin. Uh, my favourite thing about this film is you get to see like a nude picture of Scarlett Johansson a couple of times in this film. And there is a story involved somewhere. You have The Witch, which was a pleasant surprise. I have The Blair Witch Project. I really can't understand the fuss about this film. It's it's okay. Um, oh god. Uh, next I have Avatar. I remember as a kid, this was the, f as a teenager, sorry. This was the Blu-ray I wanted the most, and it was so expensive when it came out. It was like £20 and stuff, and I managed to get it for my birthday. And by the time we got it, they released like a cheaper version of the director's cut, which has like four additions to it, and I was so gutted. But yeah, this is like such fun to watch. It is kind of lost its steam, and I know we're waiting for these Avatar sequels to come out, but it's still such great fun to watch. I have Ex Machina. Great science fiction right here. Uh, Inception, one of my favourite films of all time. Christopher Nolan is such a great director, but yeah, Inception's in my top 10 films of all time. Spoilers. I have The Martian, one of my favourite films of 2015. It was my second favourite behind two, behind uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, but I just love this film. And when I, wa when I watched the film, I brought the book like the next day, because it's so good. I even got the, de uh, the extended edition, which is nothing special really. I have some Star Trek films now, so I have Star Trek The Motion Picture, or shall I say Star Trek The Motionless Picture, uh, Star Trek The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek The Search of Spock, Star Trek The Voyage Home, Star Trek V The Final Frontier, Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, which is my favourite Star Trek film. Uh, you have the Star Trek J.J. Abrams film, which is pretty cool. And I also have Star Trek Into Darkness, which is a pretty fun Star Trek film. I haven't got Star Trek Beyond yet, or any of the next generation films, not yet. I have the Alfred Hitchcock Collection box set, which has so many um, Alfred Hitchcock films. I'm not going to go through them, but there's so many to watch. And it's so... I just love this box set, because you get all these like covers and stuff. My favourite Alfred Hitchcock film, and it is one of my favourite films of all time, is Rope. Really underrated, really overlooked, but yeah, please go check out Rope. Uh, a second favourite Alfred Hitchcock film would be Vertigo. It's just James Stewart. He is amazing. Okay, next one is The Breakfast Club. I need to give this a rewatch. It's kind of just really great. Uh, I'm trying to remember the director top of my head now. Uh, um, I can't remember. Forget it. But he's a pretty good director. He also directed Fuller's Day Off, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Hunger Games, the first one. Um, 
I, don't, I like this film. It's okay. I remember my mum got it for me for like, well done for your exams. And I did like this film when it was really hyped. Uh, I kind of lost that hype by the time it got it. Um, it's probably like, where would I rank the Hunger Games films? It would probably be third behind Catching Fire and Welcome J Part 1. But I love this kind of red edition Blu-ray set. But yeah, the first Hunger Games, it's fun to watch. Uh, I have the Spider-Man anthology films. Um... I don't like the covers to them, they're really boring, but yeah, I love the Sam Raimi trilogy, I like Spider-Man 3, I mean the first two Spider-Man films have a special place in my heart, I love the first one, then we have The Amazing Spider-Man, which is okay, I guess, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, which is my favourite X-Men film, then I have The Wolverine, which is pretty cool, really underrated. Uh, I kind of go for the X-Men films in backwards now. Um, I have the the first five X-Men films. So you have X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men 3, X-Men uh, Origins Wolverine, and you have X-Men First Class. Uh, really great collection. I love X-Men First Class. It's my second favourite X-Men film. I don't have X-Men Apocalypse because really it's just okay at its best, but I will get it at some point if it's like really cheap, but I'm nowhere in hurry to get it. I have Frozen, really great animated film. Uh, Inside Out, one of my favourite Pixar films. I even have a t-shirt based on this. And uh, now I'm going through my, as you can see, my Studio Ghibli films. Uh, some of them aren't opened and I'll tell you why, because I am currently working on a rankings video for every Studio Ghibli film. I haven't got all of them yet, I'm missing like a three, about three now, I'm missing Ocean's Wave, Earthsea and The Red Turtle, but when I get them I will re-watch all of them at, at one at a time and I will probably do a rankings video at some point, I think it's going to come out like some point early next year, but, but as you can see I, I just love my Studio Ghibli, uh, Studio Ghibli is my favourite animated film, uh, animated film studio, uh, so I will go through them quickly, uh, Nascula, Valley of the Wind, of the uh, Valley of the Wind, uh, The Cat Returns, uh, Porco Rosso, Pompoco, Kinky's Delivery Circus, Laputo Castle of the Sky, haven't been opened yet, I have Howl's Moving Castle, very overrated, then I have Princess Mononoke, My Neighbor Totoro, Grave of the Fireflies, then I have Whisper of the Heart, then I have the my Neighbor Yandavas, then I have Spirited Away, my favourite Studio Ghibli film, I don't know how any other studio film would top this, then I have Only Yesterday, then I have Ponyo, then I have Arity, which is uh, inspired by the Borrowers, then I'll go through my films now, I have Star Wars Rogue One, such a great film, I saw this film three times in theatres, and it just gets better and better in every time. Uh, I have all the first phase one of Marvel films, so I have Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, The First Avenger, and Avengers Assemble. And, uh, it's such a great set, uh, I've shown they haven't got one for phase two yet, or phase three coming out, um, but yeah, Avengers is my favourite comic book film of all time, it's one of my favourite films of all time, period. And, oh, I missed, oh, I've got some more Studio Ghibli films, my bad. Um, I got Poppy Hill. Uh, the Wind Rises, The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, and When Marnie Was Here. And some anime films I have got, I've got Akira, and I really hope when they do a live action uh, adaptation of this, they get get Taika Waititi, who's doing Thor Ragnarok, and who's done some of my favourite comedies of all time. But yeah, really, it's pretty cool anime film. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time. As a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, it has my uh, collaboration on my three favourite seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! The main Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and it works so well in this film. I don't care about the other spin-offs like Frames and Sexel and Arc 5. I have Pokemon Man Man! Oh yeah! Pokemon Man Man! So this is a... So this is like the first three Pokemon films on Blu-ray. You have Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon 2000 and Pokemon 3. Uh, it looks beautiful on Blu-ray Let me, and I've been waiting for years to get this on Blu-ray and early last year they managed to release this on Blu-ray 
and I gave it a watch and it was so good. The only problem is it doesn't have any special features and that sucks because if I got a DVD based on that about like 10 years ago when these films came out, I would have got loads of special editions and you don't even get like the short films like um, Pokemon Vacation or Pikachu in the City and stuff and that really sucks but yeah, it's not too bad. I have Bruno, one of my favourite comedies, it's one of my favourite guilty pleasures. I have What We Do in the Shadows, directed by Taika Waititi, same, my favorite, one of my favourite directors. He has, he's my favourite comedy director, but yeah, it's such a great comedy film. I have uh, Popstar, Never Stop Stopping. This film made no money in the box, I think, and that's a shame, because this film is so good as a mockumentary. I have Sing Street. Great film. It's not in my top 10 films of last year, but it has an honourable mention. I also have Frank. Uh, has Michael Fassbender. And it's probably my favourite uh, Michael Fassbender film. Uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel. The six Star Wars films on Blu-ray. So we have The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clothes, Revenge of the Sith, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Really great. It has some great special editions. It is like a lot, it's a lot of hard work put into this, and it's so good. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, my favourite film of 2015. Uh, Casino, uh, probably my second favourite Martin Scorsese film behind Goodfellas. It is kind of like the baby brother of Goodfellas, but it's so good. I also have Al Pacino's Carlito's Way, really underrated film. I think a lot of people as uh, Al Pacino fans forget about this film. Uh, we also have American Gangster. Uh, the Moon, it's okay, and Looper, great science fiction time travel film. So we go on to the TV shows now. So, so all right, let's get to them. Ah. So I have Doctor Who series one on Blu-ray, Doctor Who season two on Blu-ray. I don't know why my tongue is up like that. Um, I have uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, come on. Oh, so unorganised. Ah! Ah, it was under here. Uh, Doctor Who Series 3 on Blu-ray. Doctor Who Series 4 on Blu-ray. I'm currently watching this at the moment, about halfway through. It's a okay series, it's a bit overrated. It's not in my top three. Um, Doctor Who Series 5, which is my favourite series of Doctor Who. I also have the the Doctor Who 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition, which you have Day of the Doctor, um, Night of the Doctor, The Five Doctors. Uh, you have a lot of stuff to it. I'm trying to think else you got. And you also got Name of the Doctor. It's a great edition. Oh, I love this case so much. It's just such a nice collector's edition. I also have the Star Wars Clone Wars movie, which is actually just a four parter split into four films. Uh, no, sorry, four parters into four films. Uh, 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 it's a four part uh, into a film, which makes no sense and it really sucks. I actually do remember seeing this at Downtown Disney back in 2008. Uh, Clone Wars is a great TV show. It had a problems. The problems was that it had some. It didn't like release the. The episodes at the the right amount. So you get like uh, an ep the first episode they aired was like in series three, which made no sense. And last but not least, which is wait two things, no three things, no four things. Ah, oh, okay. So I have, uh, the David Attenborough Planet Earth, which is it's okay. I I kind of lost my motive with David Attenborough stuff now. But I love this. This is Stephen Fry's last chance to free, last chance to see, which he goes around the world looking for these extinct animals before they go extinct. So you get the northern white rhino, the eye eye. It's so good. It's a lot of fun. I would probably top this over the David after Bruce stuff. I have the Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles, which is kind of like take after Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and just like what if this and this. It's okay. Um, it got axed off, but it, it's 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 decent. It's decent. I also have the first series of True Detective, which has uh, Woody Harrison and Matthew McConaughey. I absolutely love this. Um, this is one of these shows you should just binge watch. Go collect it on Blu-ray. It is so good. 
uh, uh, that's the end of my video guys as you can see I probably have to tidy up now with all these blu-rays about so uh, thank you so much for watching go like comment subscribe check out my Facebook my Twitter my Instagram page you guys are awesome and I got you back